Welcome back to another lovely video. My name is Kat. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. And if you're not, I hope that this video loves your spirit. Happy December. I hope that this month brings you so much joy, love, prosperity, and I hope that you're looking forward to the new year. Right now, I am in a new kitchen and a new place. I'm doing a live update Q and A. We're just catching up on life in general. I honestly suck at giving you guys live updates as life is happening in a vlog format. I just feel like sometimes you just need to be in the moment, live your life, and then you will you reflect and talk about the vlog, talk about life later on. I guess this is what this video is. I will just be sharing with you guys everything that's been going on, fun things, of course. Grab yourself some popcorn. This is gonna be a good one. I am having myself a cup of rooibos tea. If you guys are OG to this channel, you guys know that I love rooibos tea and how I've been enjoying making it lately. I put one tea bag and a little bit of milk and warm it up for about a minute just so that the milk can boil and then I add the sugar and then the boiled water and it's actually quite good. I've been drinking Jogo tea for the past three days because I was out of rooibos tea and I also make it the same way. That's how my mom and love used to make it and I think I think Jogo tea is not bad to be honest. I was really telling my husband that I need to just get the rooibos tea before I get addicted to the Jogo and he's like um there's nothing wrong with being addicted to jogo tea because you are almost 30 anyway like he was giving me some real shade because <laughs> you know how old people love their jogo tea so i went out to the shop this morning i got 80 tea bags we like making iced tea with these i also got some jelly i haven't had jelly in such a long time and i just felt like having it this was the pineapple flavored and i also bought custard powder i personally enjoy making my own custard powder <laughs> I enjoy making my own custard powder wow. I enjoy making my homemade custard for dessert. I just enjoy it more because I can make it the consistency and the sweetness that I like. So that's what I got. I am enjoying my tea with a second that I bought here. This is what it is and I'm gonna warm it up. I just want us to talk for now and catch up and do all of the things. So a few weeks back, YouTube actually made a mistake with the analytics of my subscription matrix. They actually said that I got 8,000 subscribers, whereas I didn't. I was really excited on the day when I saw the analytics when I was busy uploading another video. I took a screenshot and I sent it to Google via WhatsApp and I'm like, girl, I want 8,000 subscribers. And the next day, another subscriber she posted the screenshot of you know this achievement on a timeline and she tagged me and I kind of reposted it as well and I was really excited and then when I went back to my YouTube analytics I saw that I actually went back to the original number which was about seven point something thousand subscribers which I honestly appreciate but I was really happy that I had reached that 8,000 subscriber for some reason because it is something that I am like slowly working on so <laughs> that was very awkward that was a bit awkward so I just want to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't so we can get to that 8,000 subscriber mark I wrote down all my notes on my MacBook because I literally have a lot on my mind and I don't want to forget anything point number two I dropped my camera by mistake. It was on my table and I put my laptop in front of the table and I was just like moving my laptop back and the camera was over here and then it fell. So my 18 to 55 Canon lens, please excuse the background noise. I can never escape the dogs, the birds and just people talking loudly in the background. It's just the reality. <laughs> of the situation so where was i i dropped my camera i damaged my 18 to 55 millimeter lens which i'm currently vlogging with right now that's because i just zoomed it up to the end the whole lens is just like damaged i think the i think the lens is misaligned and i don't think it's going to be good value for money if i just get it repaired i might as well just buy a new one 
I want to buy secondhand. I've been looking on Facebook Market, Cash Crusaders. I want to buy the same one, just secondhand. It's just not worth me going out of my way to buy super expensive lens. The one that I have just does a good job. Also, I need to buy the lens as in yesterday because I really want to show you guys around and this number is going to be so lit. I cannot afford not to have a lens. My iPhone 10 camera, it's just not that great. It's good for just showing you guys snippets here and there, but just for vlogging, it's honestly horrible. The third point I want to talk about is vlogmas. I really thought about doing vlogmas this year. If you don't know what vlogmas is, it's basically uploading a video every day in December from the 1st of December until Christmas day every day. Hopefully your life is interesting, you would be shooting video, editing and uploading on the same day for 25 days which when I thought about it, it just felt like it was a lot of work and it just did not, it wouldn't feel like a good return on investment on my time given a whole lot of things. Firstly, my 9 to 5 is so crazy and I think my views are just not like that great for me to put it in that much work. So what I decided to do instead is just to post like frequently. I'm going to post as much as I can in December. It's not going to be vlogmas, it's going to be just me posting frequently. <laughs> And then I will resume my 10 minute, 10 second vlogs like in January. I want to start 2024 with new content and I don't want to like have a backlog of a lot of videos. Right now I have a backlog of a lot of videos to edit and I'm constantly struggling with the storage on my MacBook and my SD card. I think I need to just upgrade my SD card because it's currently 16 gigabytes and it's not that good, especially if I'm like filming continuously. I also upgraded my MacBook iCloud storage to 200 terabytes. So I just move all my footage to the cloud and then when I need it, I just download it again. So I don't have to buy a hard drive. I think so far it's been a great alternative. The fourth point is that I am officially on my December leave. So our company closes every year in December for about three weeks and Today is the first day and I'm really excited about it. Yesterday was our department India function and last week, Friday, was the company India function which was so much fun. It was so lit. They took us to Cowfish in Midrand. Apparently, Cowfish specializes in sushi so I ordered some sushi. We had the opportunity to order like a three-course meal. I ordered wings which was slapping or rather we, I was sitting with a group of girls and oh, those wings just slept and then I ordered sushi and for dessert I ordered cheesecake which was not great like I had better cheesecake before and they gave us these mugs as presents which I think is so cute I've been drinking my tea with this since I got it, I absolutely love it, I feel so privileged and I'm really excited about this leave period where I can just like enjoy life, be at home, I'm going to spend time with the family, we're going to go out, it's going to be so much fun, I really can't wait to just feel relaxed because right now it kind of feels like a bit weird that like, oh I don't have any work kind of thing but actually I do have homework. <laughs> Type of thing so that's great i did my hair which i like this is going to be my december hairstyle hopefully this hair will last me until end of january and then i'll do my nails closer to the festivities around the 20th or something just before i go home to celebrate my two aunts local negotiations and all of those fun fun festivities my nails right now are so choked and it's driving me crazy but I'm just gonna hold off maybe I can just take them off but I'm not gonna do my nails like right now I'm gonna do them closer to that time I also went to the dentist to have my teeth washed amongst other consultations <laughs> today I'm in Madrid because I had a dental appointment for half past eight and I was 30 minutes late because of really bad traffic 
on William Nickel. I was literally stuck in traffic for about what felt like an hour, you guys. I left home at half past seven. Also, my toxic trait is leaving home late and thinking I want to make my appointments on time. So I left home at half past seven and I was literally stuck in traffic the whole time and I had to call the reception area and tell them that I'm running late which they understood so they pushed up someone else's appointment and then I followed the person who was technically supposed to be after me and then I had my dental appointment right, here we go so we basically clean and we polish is it on? it's on <laughs> When I think about yesterday My oh my My oh my The kiss and so I did Today's day two, me and Ollie are back at the vet. After yesterday's consultation, the vet recommended that we come back for a follow up. So that's why we are back here. So yesterday when we got to the vet, I took Ollie out of the car and I put on his collar and leash, which is already eaten. And as we were walking into the clinic, I felt like he was very hesitant, he was not up for it. I feel like you can smell that it, like he's back here at the vet because he's been here before and the last time it was not that great. He was honestly not up for it. I wonder how today is going to go because he got a really hectic injection yesterday. I got in, um, did the paperwork, sat for about like 30 minutes it felt like. And then we went into the consultation actually before that. They asked me to weigh Ollie. He's about 23.1. And then we went into the consultation room and he was honestly nervous, scared, and he did not want to go in. Like he was even barking. Ollie does not bark. Like in general, he does not bark. So he was very uncomfortable. <laughs> and then the vet had to actually go out of her consultation room for us to go in so like I can calm him down and then she came back into the room with an assistant that helped put him on like a table where the consultation now will start so she checked um, his rectum heart rate temperature and then she asked me if we feed him bones which we do <laughs> we give him chicken bones whenever we're having like chicken and I also give him like beef bones and like lamb bones just like bones in general also a bone for snacking because you know sometimes i buy like that big one where you can snack on it for like days on end so she said bones in general for dogs they're not good in the long term because they can really affect like the digestion and she was even telling me an example of some dog that had a bone choked up in the dog's esophagus and it was so hectic and another dog got choked with a bone on the heart and you have to do surgery like all the things so she was just giving me different examples of why it's not good for us to give um dogs bones and after that she did a blood smear where she cut off some hair from his ear and then she took like a little blood and then she put it on like a device where it like smears and then she did like a little test that took about 10 minutes and in that 10 minutes i was busy talking with like the assistant guy his name was noko we were just talking about like dogs and like family he was telling me that he recently lobbled his girl they've got three kids and he was just telling me how expensive lobola is and weddings and living like i could relate because like <laughs> I also went through something like that and then the vet came back now so the results showing that he's got a white cell reaction which basically means it's an indication of an infection they don't know where the infection is coming from so there are two things that they can do they can either continue testing 
doing x-rays radiology blah 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 and i was just like that's so crazy <laughs> it's just uh let's just calm down let's see what option b has which is basically doing like a treatment for the day and if it's not better we come back today hence we're here so option b was for them to give him like just general like medication so they gave him three shots of injection one was for nausea because he wasn't eating the problem that we hear is because he was like not eating and that's a big problem because labradors in general they love eating like all eat everything and he has my food when i'm like eating so he just was not up for food and all of that so they gave him for, for nausea they gave him b vitamin so it can help boost his appetite and an antibiotic so they said like if that does not work then today they're gonna put him on like a weak antibiotic thing and other treatments blah 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 so after yesterday we went home she recommended that we give him rice and chicken so yesterday i cooked chicken schnitzel and i used the off cuts of making the chicken schnitzel and some rice and then i just boiled it for like 30 minutes and then i just fed him and he ate and then even this morning there was leftover so i gave him that and he's reacting perfectly so i just wanted to give you guys that kind of update before we go in um so you guys know like what's up <laughs> so that's pretty much it there's also like this probiotic a green little bottle that i buy on a month to month that i should give him and then also I need to buy tick and flea and a dewormer because it's just like dog maintenance stuff on a month to month. Dog maintenance is not that bad because he's generally a healthy dog. I think this is the first time he's been sick in like a whole year. So I feel like it's good general maintenance. Also another thing is that the vet recommended that we take a jug of water and like coat his skin with it like because it's so hot and he doesn't love swimming even though yesterday I did force him to swim just so he can cool down but those are just some tips tricks that she's given me um, I do have dog insurance dog medical aid with dot show I pay $1.99 per month it's not a big price for what I'm gonna get because like today's and so today's um, consultation I will get like the cash back i have to just claim it back like i pay cash because this is like a private uh clinic and then after that i will claim with my dog insurance and then i'll get my money back in like two to three days so it's not a big like problem <laughs> yeah anyway i feel like i'm talking so much so my husband and i have moved to our own place we moved into a two-bedroom one bathroom beautiful cottage in a different side of Johannesburg. I hadn't given you guys the context of where we were living before. I just felt like I needed a sense of just privacy as much as I love sharing things with you guys on the internet and I really do share a lot. I just didn't want to share like all of the things, especially in real time. I just needed like that space. So we were staying at my husband's family home. So I was basically staying at my in-laws since we got married. I honestly had the privilege of staying there. It had been such an amazing time. You guys saw um, how happy I was there. It was just time for us to move. And the reason I was staying there to begin with was because I wanted to get to know my mom-in-law. And you guys know that I stayed with her for about five weeks before she passed on. And I honestly had an amazing privilege to live there and also really get a sense of how he grew up. I got a sense of like the home, the history, and I also got to contribute to the garden and I added my own personality and it was so amazing. And I just felt like it was time for us to move into our own space. You guys also saw in some of the vlogs here and there that the house was fully furnished. And you know, as women, we love to furnish. So I didn't feel like I had that opportunity to like, you know, add my own personality because the house was already fully furnished, but it had been such an amazing time. And it was just time for a change. So that's why we're here. It's gorgeous where we are right now. So I am doing a moving series. I have already shot the videos like my camera didn't fall and crack back then. The videos that I have shot, this is the backlog of content I was telling you guys about earlier that I have so much that I need to edit. I have done an apartment hunting 
a video. I still need to edit all of these that I mentioned. I've done a packing to move. I've done an empty apartment vlog. I've done a moving day vlog and I've already settled in. And now we're here. So I still need to publish all of these videos that are coming up. So do turn on your notifications, share the videos with your friends. I think it'll only be so much fun. I'm also still trying to brainstorm like what kind of theme I want and blah 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 blah. <laughs> But I'm gonna post these hopefully like in December still. Like I said, I wanna post as frequently as I can. So the things that we've done like in preparation to move, like at the time, these were things that I was supposed to share with you guys in real time in different vlogs, was that we went to Oriental Plaza to shop for some curtains. We also went fridge shopping. We didn't have a fridge because we were staying at home and I had my own fridge from Medrine and he had his own fridge from a place he used to stay before and then I decided to sell both of those fridges because I thought we were going to be there longer than like we thought so we went fridge shopping we went antique shopping and we found a beautiful coffee table that just complements and just makes the place look really amazing antique shopping is just so much fun you find so much gems um like when you've gone out shopping i found other things that i also bought but two things that i do remember outside of a coffee table is a really beautiful cheese dome that my mom-in-law also had and i really loved it and i couldn't take it from the house because you know it's house stuff there when we used to stay so i decided to buy it it's so gorgeous and i also found a um a chicken brisket baker that one I bought it for my mom um, as a Christmas present. <laughs> so she's gonna absolutely love it because that was something that she had before and then it broke. So when you go antique shopping, you find really nice gems, you really find nice things. And I also want to just go antique shopping later today to find like really old photo frames because I want to do a gallery wall. It's just something I've been thinking about doing. So antique shopping is really such a gem. I'll leave a few like places on the description box or maybe even over here where I've went personally and I've found some really good things even though you have to like honestly dig in there. We also bought two new carpets. One was or is handmade and the other one was actually second hand the copper that we bought was the copper that they were using at the store to display the carpet and where people were getting basically it was just the store's carpet and we bought it second hand we loved it it looks gorgeous and it really just makes our place look really nice and another reason that we loved it was because it looks lived in we wouldn't want something that looked super brand new and it just really ties our home very nicely so we bought those covers those covers were valued at like thirty thousand, both of them combined but we actually ended up getting them for like less than three thousand rand because they had those crazy 50 percent and obviously we got the other one on super low discount because it is second hand so that was so much fun also cancelled two things one of them being our gym membership and the second one being help from our helper so i'm going to start off with cancelling gym we did not want to cancel our gym membership with planet fitness as you guys know we recently joined the gym about four months ago now it feels like and we did not want to cancel the gym at all we actually wanted to upgrade the plans that we had so we joined planet fitness originally as my husband being the main member and i'm his buddy so we we're going to go to the gym together and the configuration worked very well because we would go to gym monday wednesday and friday would go together and it was working out and we didn't think we were going to move anytime soon so the plan was for a year so when we decided to move we thought let's just call the gym and ask them for an upgrade i can have my own separate plan and him too then we move branches but health fitness were not keen on keeping us as customers i don't know why that was such a weird <laughs> thing to learn because i know usually with customer services they always want to retain one as customers for financial benefits but they didn't want to hear our sad little story so we just had to cancel and pay four months worth of gym membership upfront 
which was painful considering that we're already in the midst of moving and want to buy new things and it's December, you get me? So we had to just cancel. So right now we're just pausing with the whole chill thing. We're just gonna go on extended walks, take Ollie out, we're gonna just do home workouts, which I'm okay with. I honestly do feel very irritated by Planet Fitness. That like they had no fucks to give basically. So that was annoying. We also cancelled our helper. J, which I absolutely loved and the only reason we had her to begin with was because we were staying in a really big house I didn't even show you guys how big and crazy that house was but I'm sure you guys kind of got the gist like I couldn't clean that house all the time I cleaned it when I had the energy and I was also cleaning spaces that I was interacting with daily and I just needed someone to kind of give me a hand with making sure that the house just stays clean in general so we had to let her go which makes me really sad because she was really such an amazing woman but we got her through a agent so she's still gonna have work she's just not gonna be working with us as a client uh we live in a very small space i'm definitely gonna manage cleaning here and i've been cleaning here like almost every second day just to show how small it is and i'm just really excited to be in my own space so yeah i've just been cleaning here I will call her though to help if I ever like host or need like a hand, if that makes sense. So yeah, the guy's back with the sweeping again, so I'm just gonna have to wrap this up. I think I've covered a lot of the things that I wanted us to talk about. I hope that this video is not too long. I'm gonna take Ollie out to a dog park. Apparently there's a dog park around here somewhere. So I just wanna take him out so he can be out. Um, he's just been cooped up here because it's been raining and I want him to just be out. I'm currently doing the laundry. I'm gonna have two 30 minute washes while I edit this video and hopefully put it up before I leave the house. And then once I'm out, I'm just gonna also run other errands like going to the antique shop, I'm gonna clean the house, let's do for clean and obviously edit this video so that's pretty much it um yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are looking forward to the content that's coming up next if you did like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe it is free 99 when i think Hello. about yesterday My, oh my